Berkat kacamata realitas Maya, Marjorie Flowers dan Shelby Buchanan bisa mengunjungi cagar alam. I thought my favorite one was the one where two a uh, girl and a boy were talking about snakes and turtles because like that's something new. I like I don't really see snakes often and then you got to see the water and then you got to look around and you got to see the entire environment and it looked just so cool and you just felt so like you felt right there on the spot listening to these two people. Ini adalah bagian dari sistem Victory Virtual Reality yang menggabungkan teknologi realitas maya dengan kurikulum ilmu pengetahuan di sekolah guna memberikan pengalaman belajar yang lebih berarti. In other words, American students are failing the standard of science and education. And so we believe that virtual reality is a way to better educate students to immerse them and instead of students fighting to be first in line to go to lunch or gym or recess, what we have found is that students want to learn once they have the opportunity to put on the headset and learn in virtual reality. Penelitian yang diacu Grabs menunjukkan siswa yang menggunakan VR akan lebih mengingat apa yang mereka pelajari. Once kids are immersed and and enthusiastic about learning, it, it follows that they're going to retain more of that information and to understand it better. And so, uh, you know, it, it makes sense to people and it makes sense to us. Siswa pun menyukainya. And then the rooms with the cartoons, I thought those were like really cool. And I thought it was cool that you could go into different rooms instead of staying in one spot watching one thing. Sistem Victory VR sudah ada di kelas-kelas di beberapa daerah di Asia, Kanada, dan Kepulauan Karibia dan akan segera diluncurkan di Amerika. Dalam dua tahun terakhir, teknologi realitas maya yang awalnya dikembangkan untuk kepentingan militer dan gaming kini merambah ke dunia pendidikan. Pasar VR diperkirakan akan mencapai 200 miliar dolar Amerika pada tahun 2020. Dari Washington DC, saya Virginia Gunawan dan tim VOA.